Hey everybody, it's Innocent here. It's the month of September 2020. And here are my top 5 apps of the month that you may want to try and install. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are ready, let's get into the video. Starting up today on the list is called Time Arrow. This is a very simple app with a very simple interface. It is basically kind of a countdown app that reminds you of some of the few things that you may forget in life. For example, the birthday of a loved one, the graduation, the festivals, the memorial days or something like your exam approaching. So all that you need to do is you download the app and then you can see that it has been categorized into life the particular year. And then of course the months so if you need to pay your salary at a particular period of the month you can just set your day. it is more or less like an alarm but this one helps you to do a countdown of all the life events that you may want to so if you are preoccupied with a lot of things and then you need a particular app to constantly remind you of the things that you need to do periodically this app is something that you may want to give it a try at number two on the list today, I have Access Dots. If you're someone like me who constantly download a lot of apps and then later on you uninstall them, there is the higher chance that most of the apps are accessing our cameras and then our microphone. That is why you need Access Dots. For any app that accesses your microphone or your camera, this app is here to help you identify that. So it is very simple. All that you need to do is you're going to download the Access Dots and then you need to give it a bit of accessibility to your phone. So the app that is helping us to check apps that are accessing our phones want accessibility that's fine so you're going to turn on the accessibility and, and then all that you need to do is do the color configuration so you can set the color to any range of color for instance if an app accesses your camera the color that is going to show is green and if it accesses your microphone the orange is going to you can of course change the color to any color that you want that is you set you do your settings as per how you want it so the moment an app accesses your microphone for instance i open my voice recorder over here and i'm going to tap on the record and you see that the green app it shows over there so it means that the the voice recorder is currently using my microphone so this app is very simple to help you just figure out any of the apps that is accessing your microphone or your camera at number three we have mama m-u-r m-u-r i don't know whether that is how it is pronounced mama with its logo like the google podcast i doubt whether the person took inspiration from that it's simply a note-taking app but this time unlike most note-taking apps you don't have to write you just have to record your voice so it is quite simple it is just like a voice recorder which helps you to record how your day went there are some emotions that you don't really have to write you just have to speak or say it as it is so all that you need to do is you download the app i think it gives just one free trial for one day which is not so very impressive so if you want to use this full time you would have to purchase for as low as five ghana cities you can purchase this particular app and use it consistently but then if you want the free version it is going to give you just one trial. so you record how your day was like in the app without having to type you just have to record the voice if it was sad if it was funny like something exciting you just have to speak it as it is not really converting it into test i think this is one of the few apps that i've seen doing this great job and the ability to back up your recordings and even put a password on it is so impressive this is a must try if you want to try a note app without having to type something at number four is called gala i recently found out this app and i'm so 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 impressed with this app it is just like the ordinary alarm apps that we all have like the one you have on your phone but this comes with something unique about it and what's unique about this is that it can consistently remind you 
of what you have to do or your pending alarm within a matter of minutes or hours you can set the normal alarm like any other alarm that you have just like the one on your phone but then with this one you can basically customize it to say that remind me of this particular thing every single hour so every hour it is going to remind you so your alarm is supposed to sound at four o'clock in the evening but this app starting from say 8 a.m will consistently remind you every single hour that you have an appointment or you have a meeting this is not something that you find in most of the alarms you just have to set them to snooze but this gives you an upper hand Additionally, you can set it to a group or a family member so you can register your family or kind of your mastermind group so that it can remind all of them, especially if you have something like a family meeting or a group meeting to attend. There are a couple of settings that you can do and one of them is the incorporation of the dark mode, which is beautiful. A lot of apps are actually using that these days. So having that in an alarm is quite impressive. So yeah, give this particular app a try and let me know your thoughts. So let me finish this month's apps with this throwback game. This is called the Brick Game. It is one of the oldest games that has been incorporated or turned into an app. And as a matter of fact, a lot of respect for this developer right over here. The ability to turn this whole game into a mobile app, that is brilliant. What I love about this game is the controls, the buttons, it works super fine. If you just have your screen touch or your touch working perfectly, you don't actually have a problem. All that you need to do is you select a range of games that you can basically just play. This is an old game. Let me know in the comment section if you ever played this game. The settings you are able to choose a different color theme for your game. So if you buy the actual game, you have just one color. But with this app, you are able to just select any different theme. There, the range of colors that you can choose from over here. Let me pick this one, and then you can actually go back to your game you can select any game at all and then all that you need to do is start playing the buttons are super super fast you can actually play a range of games from this one i just wish a lot of these old games can be turned into apps like this so that we can have it on our phones and then we can enjoy if you want to give yourself a throwback to your childhood you can just get this game i've been enjoying it since i got it on my phone so yeah those were the five apps that i recently discovered and i decided to share them up with you let me know in the comment section if you are going to try any of these ones out and let me know also if you have any recommendations that can make it to the next set of apps in october thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one see you here and bye